What's up guys, it's June. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live. I believe that- I actually don't know what episode number this is, and I should know that, but it'll be fixed in the next episode. Anyway, this is going up on a Tuesday, and before we, uh, get into the battles and stuff, and the team, I just want to say sorry there wasn't an episode yesterday. Uh, things got kind of hectic, um, on my end, and, um... Long weekend for me, but now I have time to record, so I'm gonna make the most of it. Anyway, uh, we're using this cool Entei plus SD Abomasnow team that I'm gonna explain when we get in, so I don't have to edit out any parts because I idiotically revealed the team. Um, also, Lugia remix, hip hop remix in the background. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'll just start explaining this team now. Uh, basically, I was sitting around one night and thought that Entei plus SD Abomasnow would be a pretty cool core. Because a uh, CB Entei can wear down a lot of steel types that a bomb snow can't pick off with a plus two ice shard, and um, it and a Vente can also lure in water types, cripple them, and they give me a free a pretty free switch into geopolitics. Get it? Because it's like everybody makes the Obam Obama jokes with a bomb snow. Got him. Anyway, um, I also changed this to life orb rather than scarf. Um, from the last time I had it, but anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I think he's gonna lead with this to be honest um, He could lead with something else, but I'm gonna go ahead and lead Vaporeon just because I know he can't really touch me if uh, He decides to lead with oh, he decides to lead with Clawitzer, which is fine because I can uh, just throw a wish in the air and uh, Go into something. I'm also using Subtoxic Rachi, and this is not a hyper offensive team for like the first time in forever is not um which is a very different like step for me um i usually play hyper offense and so you know we'll see how i adapt and we'll see how things go anyway right here i think i'm going to go uh straight away for the scald um i don't have a whole lot of reason to go for anything else um that was a mega launcher boosted uh, dragon pulse and that did no damage i'm assuming he's not like uh, specs though, uh, he just crits me with the Dragon Pulse, cool. Um, I'm gonna go for the, uh, Wish, actually I'm gonna go into Jirachi here to scout if he is specs or not, and, uh, double immediately back into Vaporeon just because I kinda wanna see what he's kicking item, that is specs damage. Um, that did way too much. Um... Why is this my only switch in? Uh, I'm gonna go straight away for a Toxic right here, though. Um, just in case he wants to go into something else. Um, since I do resist it, he does end up going out into Aggron, which is fine. If there was anything he was gonna go out into, Aggron wasn't that bad for me. Um, but right here, I think I'm gonna go straight out into my High Dragon. Uh, just because uh, Hydreigon, or High Dragon, however you want to pronounce it, can just fire off Life Orb Dark Pulses versus this thing and uh, do a lot of damage as he goes for the EQ. Uh, it's too easy. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how much Life Orb Dark Pulse does right here. I highly doubt he's gonna stay in, but he really doesn't have a whole lot of safe switch ins to Life Orb Hydragon, or Hydreigon. I end up getting a Revenge Crit right there, which is nice as he gets up his rocks, um, because the crit earlier was pretty unfortunate because it left me like 20% health lower, which, and it would be nice to have an 80%. Um, Vaporeon right now, but you know, uh, High Dragon comes in, gets a kill, and uh, we'll see what he decides to go out into right here. Uh, it may be this thing. Uh, it ends up being Deancey, which is fine. Because um, I can just go out into Gligar, and since Deanceyite is banned, I can just go straight away for the Defog, and not really. That did way too much. Is he Specs? Actually, I'll probably outspeed him, because he's not running max speed. So I'm just going to click Defog right here. And uh, he blocks the stat drop and goes for the Diamond Storm, which is fine. Gets the defense raise, but you know, uh, it's to be expected. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get up my rocks, because I don't really care what this thing does, to be honest. Um, he, is, he just ends up going for another Moon Blast, because I do have my Jirachi right here, uh, which can just spam Iron Head versus him. I may sub up, actually, um, thinking about it. I'll probably try to sub first to see if he's going to switch, just because he has no more steel types on his team, so I can just freely fire off Toxic, Toxics, yeah, uh, versus his team. As he decides to stay in and reveal the Earth Power, which is fine, um, but this should do a lot of damage. Um, I, I'm not invested that heavily in attack with Rachi, but as long as I can uh, get off some good damage right here, I should be okay. 
Um, that did 64% flinch, no flinch, uh, but I live, so that's pretty cool. Um, the only thing that sucks about that ordeal is that now my cloister check is weakened, um, so I kind of have to rely on Entei, uh, just like sacred firing it and uh, burning it, and um, Entei actually is S rank, I was reading about it the other day, and it's really because sacred fire is just that good of a move, and that it punishes so many switch-ins, but, uh, we'll see what he decides to go out and do right here, um, I'm assuming it's gonna be something like Klawitzer, um, because Klawitzer can just come in and fire off a dark pulse, um, and, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go out into Mr. Fangs, uh, because Mr. Fangs will be able to, uh, take down this Klawitzer. Claw, it's a mate. Um, if he does decide to go for the Dark Pulse, as he goes for the Aura Sphere, it's a good play on his part. Um, sh probably should have seen that coming. Uh, but I can just go into worse Alma Mola right here. Um, it really sucks that I lost High Dragon like that. I probably shouldn't have played so riskily and just sacked Rachi, although I would kind of like it for later. But I'm just going to go straight away for the Wish. Um, the Wish. And uh, he goes for the Aura Sphere. That did 37%. That did way too much. Uh, but right here, I can just click Protect, get back up to full health, and uh, not really worry about anything that he goes for right here. Um, as now that he's seen that, I kind of expect him to switch out, because he's not really doing, anyth doing anything to me. He's fighting a losing battle. Um, I'm going to go out into Jirachi. Hopefully, uh, I can come in on Chestnut. And uh, he just goes for the... Okay, he's just... Okay, he's one of these guys. He's just not going to switch under, like any circumstance right now and I don't really understand that play because it's like really what were you doing versus Vaporeon because once I get a burn it's like you actually can't do anything to me it's over um and I actually got speed him that's weird he's like zero speed uh Claudia's or specs which is kind of weird um but I'm just gonna go for a scald right here fishing for a burn no burn uh but I can just go oh wow I messed that up really bad I messed that up really bad. I'm going to go for another Scald. I should have wished on the last turn. I don't know what I'm thinking, but it's fine. I think I can still salvage this game as there's the burn. I needed that pretty bad. Um, I kind of want to go into a Bomb Snow right here um, to take him on a little better. But I think I need to go out and Entei and uh, just click Sacred Fire because Sacred Fire pretty much forces him to go into... If I miss Sacred Fire, I'm going to be so mad. Um, but Sacred Fire pretty much forces him out into this because I don't think he wants a uh, Cloister getting burned, uh, especially not at the HP that it's at, and uh, that gives me a pretty free switch into a Bomb of Snow, um, which is nice, which is nice because then I can uh, go ahead and make an attacking play accordingly and hopefully weaken the rest of his team to where CB Entei will be able to come in and just spam Sacred Fire. Um, that's the goal. Um, he goes out into cl uh, Cloister though, no fear. Um, if I miss Sacred Fire here, I will be pretty disappointed. Um, but we'll see what he decides to do. I'm assuming he's just going to Shell Smash. Or he may uh, Rock Blast. That'd be bad. Um, but I don't really have any stops that. I get the burn, which is nice, as he decides to Shell Smash. So it's too easy. <laughs> We're just... Like, that. that's why Sacred Fire Entei is so good. Um, but anyway, th if you guys didn't know, this, this is called Avente. Uh, because Sacred Fire is event only. Uh, he goes out into Starmie right here, and I'm just gonna, gonna go into Geopolitics. <laughs> um, because I can Mega Evolve. I do have... Wow. Bulk. <laughs> and uh, right here, I think I can just go straight away for the Ice Shard. I don't think he's gonna stay in right here. Do you know what a switch is? <sighs> this is how it's gonna be. Is this really how it's going to be? Don't do this. Thank you. Um, so, a little bit of incompetence there on my opponent's part as he reveals the uh, Ice Shard or the uh, Confused Raised Army. Um, but I'm just going to go for the Ice Shard here. I think I actually have to get this Ice Shard um, to weaken him a bit. Wow, I actually hit through. That only did 25%. You're weak. <laughs> um, but right here, I can just go straight away for the Ice Shard again. Um, just because it gets me 25%. If I actually break through, I will be thoroughly impressed. 
Um, he goes for the spiky shield, which is fine, because that just gives me another turn to break free from confusion. Or get hit. You never know. It could go either way. Um, but if I can get another 28% off, I think that puts uh, him in range of Sacred Fire for sure. Uh, just because Entei, with the choice ban, really is that strong. Um, but he goes for the Drain Punch, but no target, which is unfortunate. But, you know, nothing a little choice banded Sacred Fire from an adamant Entei can't fix. Um, that did 85%. Uh, don't get the burn as he reveals Stone Edge, which does no damage. Um, so that is going to be a pretty solid game. Like, it wasn't... I, I made some pretty poor plays. He actually made a couple cool plays. Um, if I miss this Sacred Fire and he crits me with Stone Edge, I'm going to be thoroughly disappointed. Or if that was just an extremely low roll, we'll see. Um, but no. Entei ends up cleaning it up, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're up to 1357. Uh, he was pretty low in the ladder. Um, trying to decide if I should grab another one. I don't think I have time to, unfortunately. So, uh, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of uh, Pokemon Showdown Live, please make sure to leave a like, because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, uh, have you guys tried Mega Abomasnow before? This is actually my first time ever using it. So, uh, you know your thoughts slash set ideas would be uh, very useful if you guys could lend those to me and uh, with that I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content and with that I'll catch you on the flip-flop